last week we had new member orientation and there were just so many things that might lines up with my passion and one of those things being all right so being a fitness instructor and a bigger body i've been losing weight but this journey has been very interesting go back and watch the rest of the vlogs if you want to know more because there's a lot to it um there was a lot of healing that has happened because i started off with some toxic toxic um, experiences and so I was really a, kind of afraid to go back into the fitness industry but it's been shocking like I'm still astounded and <clears throat> this week has been no exception excuse me I, I'm still like getting over this weird cold and I'm so sorry I knocked something over I don't know I don't know what that was, but I heard it hit the floor. I know I usually do these outside, but it's really, really hot right now. So, uh, we're not outside right now. Anyways, um, I messed up my, my thing. Okay, here we go. So, continuing this journey, this week has been very interesting. <clears throat> so I started off, I had, I had a safety meeting at Carl and the safety meeting, it was really good, but it reminded me how terrified of some certain things that I am because, like, medical emergencies. Um, that's basically what we covered. Like, we had covered, like, a lot of, lot in safety, like, evacuations and, like, different codes because we have different codes. Um, I'm assuming that they're the same codes as the hospital, at our, our hospital, not all. Because each hospital I know has codes, and they're all, like, for the same... Oh, that went in my ear. Uh, all four the same things, but each hospital like colors them, color codes them differently. Um, and so, but I'm assuming that the hospital that we're attached to, it's it's coded the same. I don't know why I told you that. Anyways, so <laughs> we have like minor medical emergencies and major medical emergencies. They're treated very similarly. Um, and I've done CPR. I always tell people like just because I know how to do it doesn't mean I want to. So keep breathing. <laughs> but um. I really think that one of these days I'm probably going to have to. Um, and uh, there are certain fitness instructors that won't. Like, and that's okay because at least our, at our facility. I don't know. I need to talk. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I, excuse me. Um, I need to talk through more at the other one. But, uh, so at our facility, like, uh, a bunch of people come if you call this emergency code, um, which like either if it's a minor emergency, even if it's just like a scrape or something like they, they get, there's a bunch of people that come and it's a very, very similar thing. Um, so it's, it's like, even if it, if we think it's minor and it's actually a major thing, then it, there's still plenty of people there to help. Um, and, and it's, it's within like a minute or so, like it's super fast. Because that was something that I was concerned about. Um, because she's like, if you don't feel comfortable, the CEO, she's like, if you don't feel comfortable, then just wait for somebody to arrive. And I was like, well, I know each minute your heart's not pumping, then that's, that's, that's oxygen that's not getting to your brain. That's blood that's not flowing through your body, oxygen getting to your brain. So isn't that dangerous? But they assured me that they come really fast. So I'm like, okay, well, that helps. But I still think that I would have to like, I, I'm somebody who like snaps into action, does what needs to be done, and then freaks out after it happens. Um, so I know that like I would just snap into action. Uh, however, it's still terrifying. And I hadn't thought about it in a little while, but this meeting reminded me of how terrified I am of certain things happening. Um, and I teach aqua uh, mostly, primarily. And so there's a little bit more risk there than there is on land um not more risk but 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 extra risks if something happens there yeah if something happens there's like extra risks because they're all in the water um so it it like helped to have the plan and so i'm confident that i will be able to do whatever it, i need to if there isn't a, med a medical emergency However, I'm like, I really, really, really 
don't want to have to. So please, everybody just keep breathing. Nobody hit your head. I can deal with minor ones, but like nobody, nobody like, oh, nobody go out on me or anything like that. No, nobody stop breathing. Like everybody just keep breathing. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, and she told me a couple stories of things that she's had to deal with in the center. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm scared of. But, but like, uh, one of the stories was really cool because they did end up saving the person's life. The other one they did as well, but then like not too long after it ended, it ended it poorly. Um, but it's still really cool to like know that like they've been through it at least and to know that there are some people there that are experienced with situations like that. So it's not completely on my shoulders. If something does happen, I will, I will be there to snap into action and whatnot. But, um, so anyways, but anyway, so that was Monday. And then Tuesday I had new orientation at the other facility and I don't really have anything to say about that. I don't think I still hadn't talked to my boss at that one at that point. Cause the week before I can't remember if I said it in the last vlog or not, but the week before I had a meltdown, the day before I had to, I did back to back classes, co teaching with this other teacher. And like, I love the other teacher, so like, I was like not really sure what was going on. Um, and I ran into the HR person that day because I did yoga at night and I was looking for the classroom and I was running late and I had, I had just recovered from the meltdown that I had. I had multiple, but that, like, two or three that day about the same thing, but I didn't really know what they were about, so it was. It was a whole thing where I was like, I don't really know what to say, but I ran into the HR, uh, the person that does HR, which I love her. Um, but as soon as I ran into her, I like had another meltdown because I was running late for this class. I've never done this class and I knew it was going to be calm because it's yoga. So I'm like, I know it's going to be like calm and quiet and like, I don't want to disturb the class and I'm running late and all these things happen. And so it just like set it off even more. And <laughs> so she she got kind of a little bit of the brunt of that and then she checked in with me the next day she's so nice she checked in with me the next day and I was like well I didn't talk to my uh the, my higher up because I it like it was just that day and it went away and I don't really know what to, what to make of it and she's like I think you should still talk to her so I was like okay and at the so like for on my end I'm sure neither one of them thought anything of it but on my end I felt a little awkward because I had had that conversation with HR but my higher up didn't know about it yet. And so it was like this awkward thing of like, I know what they know and I know what she needs to know, but neither one of them know what. Yeah. And it was just like, uh, it was, just, it just made me feel awkward. And I'm like, I'm sure neither one of them are even thinking twice about it. And HR is not my mother. So like, it's not like she's going to be like, I can't believe you didn't do that. So I'm like, I'm being ridiculous. Um, but otherwise like the orientation was good. And I was, I talked, I met, at, so at Carl, I met, excuse me, <coughs> I met with my higher up there. And because Wednesday night, she emails me at some point Wednesday, she emails me and she's like, can we meet? Because I've got some member feedback. And I was like, okay. So I, and I said, yeah. And I was like, what time works for you? Like, blah, blah, blah. So we met on Thursday. And going into it, I knew, I knew I was overreacting on Wednesday, but like I could, I didn't know how to bring myself out of the headspace. Sometimes it's really hard for me to like, cause like it's when you're feeling a certain way, sometimes it's really hard to pull yourself out of that place. And I was in the, everybody hates me and I'm a terrible teacher mode, you know, you know, can you relate? Um, and so I was just like, oh no, this is going to be terrible. That, and I was like, okay, Tuesday, there was this one member in particular that was, she's been to two of my classes, but like I took some classes with her and she walked in with this attitude and looked like she was in a terrible mood and didn't pay attention to me the entire time, which I didn't care about, but I thought that she was going to complain. I thought maybe that she had a complaint about me, um, because she had given me some pretty like kind of harsh feedback my first after my first day which was my first day so like it was like it, I came to the conclusion later that it was it was too harsh for my first day that went well and
different things uh, and whatnot, which is part of the reason that I took the class on Saturday. Um, I mean, the class today. Sorry. <laughs> the, the, class, the class today with the other instructor. Because um, I just want to get some more ideas and some more more footing or whatever. And um, I'm going to get in the pool more this week when there's no classes. That way I can like actually do them in the pool because I really haven't been able to just yet. So I might have to make some tweaks, which is fine. Um, but so like the feedback that she gave me from the member was already, I already, I already fixed it. So I was like, oh, well, that wasn't much. Um, so mainly she just wanted to see where I was at with things and touch base with me and how I was doing and, uh, just support me in any way. And so I think we're going to try to work together too. She's going to try to take my class or we're going to try to work together or both. Um, so like it's, it was good. It ended up being good. I knew it would be, I knew it was fine. Um, and like, the thing is, like, n both of these places, neither one of them, I needed the job. I just wanted to to pick up the this fun job um, because I'm passionate about fitness. And so I'm like, the, if, if the worst case scenario happens where I get fired, like, it's not that big a deal. Although I would care a lot more with Carl than I would the other facility. Not because I don't like the other facility. I've been having so much fun there. It's just with Carl, like, that my, my passion lines up so with so many things. Um, like last week we had new member orientation and there were just so many things that my, lines up with my passion. And one of those things being, I don't know, I've been so frustrated with the medical industry in general and did, not knowing what to do about it because like I'm so passionate about preventative care and think that saves so much time, heartache and money and like can prevent so many things and um so like the fact that carl at we we actually we, i work in the integrated wellness center and we actually partner with physicians to work together to give patients better care just all around better care and whole care and so that's something that i was never able to even put words on until i i had that meeting and i was like that's it. That's what's been missing. That's what I've been so frustrated about. And like now I'm part of the solution. So like there's some passion there that like I, it would be a little bit more devastating to lose that job than than the other one. And I would be sad either way and it would affect me either way um, for sure. Uh, but any, but anyways, so I, I talked to her and it ended up being fine. I didn't die. I didn't lose my job. I knew that it wasn't going to be a big deal, but like even knowing that it wasn't going to be a big deal, like it still doesn't like if you need to talk to me, tell me why you need to talk to me. Let me mentally prepare for the conversation. <laughs> this is why I don't answer phone calls unless you text me first. <laughs> I have to be mentally prepared. I can't handle it. Um, and then the other facility, the next day I talked to, <coughs> excuse me, I talked to my higher up there. Um, so the, the, that Thursday I had taken, so I took my friend's class, which is called Stronger. It's a choreographed weightlifting. Loved it. She's the one who got me into Four Seasons in the first place. And um, she, we had a talk afterwards a little bit. We, we hadn't talked too long, but we had a little bit of a talk and I told her about a little bit of it, what was going on. And she recommended I talk to the higher up as well. And it's like, yeah, I know. And, but I, t I, I told her, like how I was feeling and she's like yeah I would feel the same but here's the thing like it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be fine both situations well actually she wasn't I mean she didn't know about the other one because she doesn't know the people there but yeah I was like yeah I know but it doesn't make it any and she's like I know <laughs> so she totally relates so it was nice to have that conversation first so on Friday I had a conversation with the higher up at Four Seasons my higher up at Four Seasons not the CEO and it went well. We, we met for like a half an hour and I knew it was going to go well, but like, I just didn't fully know what was going on with me. And so that's kind of why I was putting the conversation off. And so I'm like, I still don't fully know. So here we go. Um, and it was nice that there were some things that she was, she was in agreement with me about, um, that like, it wasn't the concern, but it was, it was, um, some thoughts in my head about what was going on. Um, and we were on, we were on the same page with that. So I'm like, okay, well that's reassuring. Um, I, th I thought we were, but it was like good to just get the feedback, uh, just to make sure. Um, but like 
basically in we we concluded or I concluded that I'm just a little bit overwhelmed because she said something about stress and I was like no I don't feel like I'm stressed out I just feel overwhelmed and I was like yeah and so like I come to the conclusion we came to the conclusion that everything that was going on like was all like pretty normal things and like because I had so many new things coming at me all at the same time um I was just overwhelmed and and that's just all it was um because I was like I don't have a problem with this other teacher that I've been co-teaching with I love her um I don't have a pro like I I've been having a blast taking all these classes I've had loving everybody that I've encountered has been super nice super friendly super easy to work with so I was like it's, it isn't it's not like there's any issues so I don't really know what my problem is <laughs> um and it's just we just came to the conclusion that it's just I'm just a little bit overwhelmed right now and that's okay and in fact, normal. So like that was, it was encouraging and it was reassuring. And so the conversation was really good. Um, and it was kind of fun cause we're trying to come up with a name for my class. And I was like, Oh, my friend is good at brainstorming things like that. So I was like, I have a task for you. I texted her and uh, <laughs> she and her husband and both of her kids all got involved she's still brainstorming because none of them really work but she sent me this list of a whole bunch of different names um and they were cracking me up i maybe i should put a, uh, if i think about it i'll put a couple in uh, maybe not we'll see but they were cracking me up and so i sent them to our higher up because i was like well she'll get a kick out of them too and she sure did so it, anyways things are going really good at both places i'm still shocked at to how much like both places have just embraced me so 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 much and this experience has been so drastically different than when I tried to go into personal training um and when I worked at Curbs it was fine but like when I tried to actually go into personal training in like a traditional gym setting not so fine and so the traditional gym setting to me was always like oh they don't accept me and so this has been two traditional well the, one's not really a tr traditional traditional gym setting it's a little bit different because it's an integrated wellness center. However, it, it does still have a fitness center. Um, and the other one is very much a traditional gym. And so it's just been like this huge healing experience. And just it's it's been crazy. It's been good, but it's been crazy. So that's where we're at now. And I hope that this was encouraging. I, lo I believe in you. I love you. And dream big. Take action. Bye.